Hello and welcome back to A Moat and Mind Squish. This is episode four and we're going to do a, a do a little bit of touring on the server today. We're going to head out to the city of, of Knoxbridge, which is that direction, the city of Guilds, and we'll do a little tour around it. We'll also take a quick trip out to Blue Barrel uh, 07's house just to sort of show you uh, the two versions of two ways you can kind of have a plot or a house on our home world Persephone. Now remember, we, we came back from the exploration world, which is where we do our mining and tree gathering resource gathering and we are out here on our home world which is where we have we want longer term stuff um, longer term houses and storage and things like that so there's two main ways to get around out here the first is to you know run or walk if you come down here you can get a boat see right there and uh, you can go on over to the, the mainland in any direction and then just run the other option is what you see here these are the, the minecart rail lines and in order to get to those you just come down here uh, Central Station, and you'll notice that there are four, one, one in each direction, north, east, south, and west. Uh, the yellow line goes out to the east, which is where Little Bear's house is, green is to the north, red line goes out to the west, and blue goes to the south, which is the direction we'd be going, so you can come over and get a, uh, a mine cart and just ride on out if you want to do that. Uh, we're not going to do that. We're going to take a little quicker way, the third way, which is to use the, there are some, there we go, some portal pads right up here. And in the four, in the corners of the main dock here, right there, uh, there are teleportal pads, uh, portal pads. This one's to the Noxford City of Guilds. We'll use that first. And then there's Riverside, Riverdale, the Dark Woods. And if we come around over to here is Foley's Brook. And finally, Lux, the Shadow City. And we'll try to go visit each of those cities and do a tour for each of those as we go along. But let's go ahead and just portal on out to Knoxbridge. All right, so here we are. This is the... Oh, finished teleporting. Uh, so here we are in the city of Knoxbridge. All right. First thing I want to show you, uh, that's the town rules right there, so stop and read those when you're ready. But if you were to take the, the minecart out here, then you would actually show up right there in that little tunnel. Uh, if we, here, we'll just go up here and we'll take a look. Hopefully we'll be able to see it. Uh, if we take a look, yeah, there you go. You can see the blue rail line right over there. So it'll drop you off in the station just down there. If you follow the signs, it'll take you right up through that uh, walkway there. And that will bring you into Knoxbridge. Now, each of the four towns was made by staff members when this world was created just a little over a, a year ago in real life. So each of these towns in Minecraft years is about a hundred years old. So this is uh, this has been around for a hundred years. And the founders of Knoxbridge, uh, there were two staff members, the Evil Olives and Chiprock 2. And now with all the name changes allowed in, in, my, in Mojang, uh, who knows what names they'll have tomorrow, but that's the names they start off with when they did this. And I talked to Chip a little bit about how this town came about and and what's uh, what are some of the things about it so we're going to talk about that right now he said the, the name of the town itself Knoxbridge comes from combining the word Knox meaning night and that's represented by all the dark colors in the builds uh, here and bridge of course because there are several bridges there's no one over there that the town is built around so the city of uh, guilds the there are no formal guilds these are all just sort of role-playing you can kind of it's an honorary thing uh, Chiprock is the head of the Magician's Guild, which is that building right over there. And uh, the Evil Olives is the head of the Slayer's Guild, and that's down in that mountain, or that hilltop right there. Uh, there are some other guilds, the, the Crafter's Guild and whatnot. This guy up here, this is said to be um, a statue of one of the guild uh, heads back many a year ago. So... Knoxbridge sits right on the edge of the sea. You can see that giant crane for uh, unloading ships over there. And I just, I absolutely love the style of building here. This is really just is incredible to me. I love the look of it and, and the, uh, all the use of the different materials. So that's the, the sea out there. So if I have my lore correct, the city of Knoxbridge soon after it was formed was attacked from the sea by pirates. And the city, the town was going to be wiped out, just raised to the ground. Well, a guild, the guildmaster, presumably the Slayer's Guild, uh, led the town folk in defending their town. And in, and in several heated battles, pitched battles, they managed to drive off 
the pirates and, and to save their town. In the final climactic battle, the uh, the guildmaster gave the final measure and uh, indeed lost his own life, but in the process saved his town. So the town crafters guild built this statue of him. Uh, it is said that uh, at night you can see his eyes watching you and watching over the town and keeping things safe and that uh, that statue will help keep Knoxbridge safe and, and uh, uh, will warn of any impending danger. The other beautiful thing right up there is the Valiant. So this is the airship Valiant. This was done by the Crafters Guild here. And uh, oh, I think you can see a little fire right there going. It looks like they're getting ready for a test run of this thing. Oh yeah, look at that. You got the, the boilers are all heated up. So that's just, uh, that's just some of the work of the Crafters Guild. Beautiful piece of work up there as well. All right. So uh, the other benefit to a town is that it has a lot of the things that you need. Uh, you get to live amongst these very cool structures. Um, you have, you also have some you know, nearby neighbors, but it also provides certain amenities, such as you know, there's stables for the horses if you want. There's a most of them have a nether portal, so if you want to get to the trip the nether, you don't have to do your own. There's one right there for you, and most of them provide a market area where you can set up your own stall and sell things. So there's a Sophie B BTG's flower and dice store. Uh, and places also, if you have extra stuff you just want to get rid of and make it a donation for people to come by, you can stick them in these chests as well. Now, they also have... Uh, I'm going to climb up and over to get there. Uh, they also have a, a community market, a community um, farm, I mean, excuse me. And there's the uh, farm for Knoxbridge. Uh, right now it looks like it's all wheat. We should probably diversify about a little bit there. But it has a, a farm that is taken care of. You just replant. Um, here's more of the chest for, you know, you can drop off stuff you don't need. You'll often find donations in there. Um, but then, so here's the town farm. You just want to make sure that you replant. And you definitely want to diversify here. You can get some um, carrots and peas and whatnot in there. Uh, carrots and potatoes, excuse me. Um, I'm going to cross right on through here to the bridge over here to the crafting guild. Where are you? I hear you. Well, uh, we're going to go to the crafting guild and we'll also see the, the pens for the, the, the animals, the livestock. There we go. Uh, so this is the crafters guild. And so if you're a guild member, you can go in there and use the amenities in there. Over here is the blacksmith shop. So this is a place where you know, you're provided an anvil, so you can always fix your tools right there. You don't have to go and, and make your own anvil. And those can be very expensive in terms of of um, iron, of course. We have animal pens out here, so you can come out here. You just you know remember to breed. Grab those eggs. Uh, remember to breed before you kill, so that there's always. Why can't I pick up the eggs? Um, you know, so if you're going to come out, you can share the sheep, but if you need to you know, kill some of the chickens, make sure that you... Oof. Ouch. Let's see. We'll log back in here. Oh, that was rough. Okay. So, if you do, um, you know, if you come out here and you kill one of the animals, the, the, pigs, the pigs or the cows or whatever, that you breed them first to make sure that you keep the stock. So if you want to come out here, you need some leather or something, just grab some wheat. Remember, there's some in the farm right over there. And then breed up the cows, and then you can take what you want. So you don't have to keep your own herd. I heard that. Where to go? There it is. Uh, these peonies. For some reason, they, I have a glitch where I don't see the bottom of them, and they don't drop anything for me. Okay, so we'll have to fix that up. Sorry for the bouncing around here, folks. So there's chicken and cows and, and sheep out here. You can, oops, can't even find the gate. Oh, let's not let them out. There we go. Ah, he almost got out. All right, guys, not allowed. Take off, take off. You guys gonna really just stay, stay there? Thank you. All right, and then over here are pigs. 
Looks like one of them escaped over there. Uh, so if you have if you need to have need of any of the animals, you have them there. I'm not sure this one is. I'm not sure which this is. I think this is another of the guilds, but unfortunately I can't see the, the sign seems to have disappeared. So this might be the Crafters Guild. I'll have to go back and find out. Uh, the Slayers Guild I know is down around this way. Oh, that's not quite what I meant to do. And so there's the Slayers Guild. Now I'm not part of any of the guilds, so we're not going to go and take a look at those, but feel free to come over and take a look. We are going to go over and take a look at the plots now. And then we'll head over to uh, Little Barrel 7's after that. But I want to show you. Look at that. That's just beautiful. Um, I'll take a picture while we're at it, but I really meant to get rid of it. I just love the, the work around here. There's some gorgeous... Sorry to get nighttime. Uh, gorgeous building done by the folks around here. All right, so let's go ahead and take a quick look at the plots. There is a, um, most of the towns also include a, an inn. So if you're not sure what you're doing or, or where you want to stay, you can come out and stay at one of the inns. Um, here's the portal room to go back to the different cities, right? So that's a quick way to get back to any of the cities, any of the other towns. And of course, help will take you back to main spawn. Uh, but here is the inn, so if you wanted to come and stay for a little bit, the Noble Creeper Inn, you can come and stay here. There are some rooms with the uh, chests and whatnot upstairs, and there's the Magic Guild up there, so if you wanted to join that guild, you can do so. Take a real quick look in here. So you can come in here and, and you can meet your friends here to, you know, before you start off on your adventure or whatever you want to do. And if you need to stay here for a little while while you're building your house, there's a common room and whatnot so that you can have uh, a place to live for a little bit. But this is only for temporary lodging, it's not for long term. If you want to live out here for long term, then you need to get a plot. Now, uh, one of the rules is that uh, you don't build within a, a town except for plots, and you must ask for a plot before you build on it. Here's the, the inside of the windmill, by the way, I just love that. I, I don't do curved arms well, so I'm always amazed when somebody else does. Whoops. Oh boy. All right, let's see. Let me save here. Not really. No, he's going to be done then. Uh, I'm going to step here for just a minute. These are the plots that you can have. This one, this house right here is Cohen's house. And they should be built in, in the same style as the rest of the town. You'll notice that some of the other plots here are not. Well, that one has done a pretty good job. But you can see that there are several plots out here that are still available. The bigger buildings in the distance are already somebody else's homes, and they're the larger plots. Are you going to get to me? No. Uh, that we're going to go see in just a minute. So if you want to live in a town, you can. It has a lot of nice amenities. You can build a smaller house. In fact, you have to build it within the plot restrictions you see here. Um, I know I'm driving them crazy, aren't I? But that's nice because you don't have to spend quite as much your main resources, and you get the benefit of living in the town and being able to take advantage of all the town resources and, and amenities, which are all very nice. Remember, you can't come and just build here in the middle of the town. And if you want to build on one of the plots, you have to go to the forums and post a request for it. You know, so there's still a few openings here. Or catch one of the town owners. So the town owners for, for the city of Knoxbridge here are Chip Rock and the Evil Olives. And I am currently acting as the sheriff of the town, so you can also talk to me if you see me online. All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, pop back to main spawn because now what I want to do is uh, um, we're going to go out and head out to Little Barrel 7 South, which is just out that way, but we want to go ahead and take the, the train tracks. But we're going to, before I do that, I need to check one thing, so we'll be right back. All right, we're back. I just needed to go grab a, a mine cart. Right now, the dispensers down here are not uh, working all the time, so I need to go grab a mine cart real quick. Normally, you can get a mine cart if you just stand on here. A mine cart will be dispensed right there. You hop in, and off you go. So, Little Bear lives off of the uh, yellow line here. We're going to go out, and you can see 
as you go along. It's a nice way to take a look at some of the the builds that are out here. Some of these are done by the, the staff, and others are people's homes, kind of like that one out there. And you can see there's lots of people living pretty close to spawn here. And there's also the, all these balloons that are holding up the uh, rails. They're all done by players in a contest we had before this world was created. And then the staff brought them over here. So this is the first stop. So we wanted to, we could get out and go down and take a look around. But we're going to want to go ahead and go on. So we're going to hit that button. And we'll go on to the second station. Because Little Bear's house is down over that way. And so we'll get off to the next station. And kind of take a look at some of the... There's some really amazing builds out here. People have done an incredible job. I love this balloon with the house on it. Uh, there's some really creative balloons. Just going along the rail lines, looking at the houses, are, are gorgeous. That house, is, the last time I came by, it was still being built. And it's really done a beautiful job. That's a very nice looking little house. Somebody's had another portal sticking out the back there. All right, come up to the next station. When you get to the station you want, if I want to continue on to the, the town, I would hit that button. Otherwise, I can hit here. And it'll take me right over here. Pop up. And then collect my minecart. There we go. All right. So we are going to now set the portal down. Let's step in here. Okay. I hear you. Where are you? All right. Well, we have to go out that direction, so we're going to head out there. These are the roads that I mentioned earlier. They do go around the the, uh, the entire map, so you can actually get from town to town by following these roads. These are people's homes out here. Um, so there's Martin's house. Um, <laughs> trees and flowers. So people build all the way along here. These are smaller plots, and that's fine too. If you come out this direction, you'll see uh, that gives you tells you how to get to different places. And Lux is out behind us, and uh, Foley's Brook is going to be, if we keep following this road, would be out that direction. Let's see if we can get this guy. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Didn't expect you to be there. Oh, what the heck. Now I've started, i got to finish it. All right, there we go. And I'll certainly take your XP. We've got one while we're down here. I just wanted to show you this. I think that's a great way to do that. That's a beautiful face in there. Who did this work? Mason Rumble in the Cool Kids Animal Shack. That's a great setup in there. I think that's a cool face there, guys. Good job. Uh, this is their farm and all that, so we'll head back up, get out of their way. And we're just going right over there. That's where Little Bear's house is. And we'll show you the size of the plot because that, that'll do it. Nighttime, but we'll see what we can do. All right, now we've got some signs out here that remind people: if you need wood, go to exploration and cut the wood there. Do not cut down these trees. And here, guys, a floating tree, a UFO tree, right? Somebody took out the base and didn't remove the rest of the tree. Number one, they shouldn't be cutting the trees out here in the first place. Number two, if you're going to cut it, get rid of it. Don't leave a floating tree. Uh, it's one of the rules, in fact, guys. Oh, hello. Got a Welcome party. All right, let's just take care of the welcoming party here. There we go. All right. I'm going to need to eat here pretty soon, but we'll take care of this guy first. There we go. All right. Let's come on up here. Getting towards the end anyway. And there is Little Barrel 7's house. Let me just. Oh, here, let me just get something a little better. <laughs> that was a fun little flight. You notice that uh, here the griefing is turned off, so they don't actually destroy the land, which is nice, but they sure as heck will kill you. So let me finish getting my food. Dangerous, so close to dying. Okay, so there's Little Barrel 7's house. You can see the L on in front out there. We're not going to do a full tour of his place, but 
Wanted to give you a sense of how big a 50 by 50 plot is. So this is the largest size that you can build your house in out in the regular wilds. It goes from that corner over there of the, of the fence all the way over there and it goes all the way back past that stone building. Let's go ahead and take a quick look. Uh, cool. We've got a cool little ravine here by the way which is fun. Uh, and this is Libero 7's mailbox. You can do this by just doing a chest and then using C public. Uh, and you always put a sign up saying whose house it is. We're in the process of building a sort of, a, of an inn and a tavern. So that's what all this stuff is. This is a, a sample. I'm trying to figure out if I like the look at that. Uh, obviously still a work in progress so you can see some of the work here. He's got some stables back there and built into the hill. And just to give you a sense of the, of the size, you know, this, this house only takes up about a quarter of the plot. But here you've got a huge inside. We're still de decorating inside, obviously. Uh, and he still has a ton of land. We've got fishing ponds. We have a large place for a, a garden if we want to do that. We actually have a garden down below. Uh, we have a little shack back here for, um, it used to be Z-Makes place, but it's uh, not anymore. And then now we're finally at the back of the property. So you know, that's 50 blocks all the way over there. Even has his own little nether portal that he has back here. And sorry, one last thing to show you while we're here. So this is this is the uh, this is where his plot is. Mom Barrow Seven's plot is right over there. I'm going to build a house over there for that. My niece's Pink Buddy Bear's plot is right back there. I'm going to build a plot. You can see, actually, that's a, a housing a, a horse over right now, and she's got some other stuff going on down there. And then I actually have a spot set up way the heck over there. I don't think we can see it. Um, it's actually probably out of that direction. And that's where we'll build our house in the survival, uh, the in the regular Let's Play. Uh, we'll come and grab my horse one of these times. That's Little Bear's stable, of course. Uh, and guys, so this is this is the size that you can build up to. You don't have to. You notice some of the houses on the way out here were not this big, um, but you can build up to the size, but no bigger. So that's kind of the the bit of the tour. We're going to go ahead and call this video here. We'll uh, come back in the next episode, and we'll be actually doing some of the mining things back at the back at the house. So thanks for joining me, guys. Remember, if you have any comments or questions uh, or any suggestions, as long as they're family-friendly and appropriate, leave them in the section down below, and I appreciate you watching the, the series, and we'll catch you on the flip side.